Statistics are one of the things destroying India right now. And at least to something that I could remember, big part of the Western media focuses mostly on the negative stories of India. And even though some of those stories might be true, I want to explain to you how they can use also statistics to show you only a wrong image of a good country as India. But it end up looking as if it's not good at all. So statistics can be super tricky, even at school, let's be honest. And now the hard part of it is that they can be used to the advantage of whoever is taking the research. But in this video, let's much more focus on how those statistics are being used to the disadvantage of India, showing a wrong image of a country which has a lot of good things to show out to the world, but it's only the wrong that I end up that end up showing up. So let's break it down. India faces real issues of misrepresentation same as my country congo or so many other countries in africa and it's always things like poverty pollution corruption while these things actually do exist they are often highlighted that you wonder like is that the only thing that exists in india like isn't there even any other life apart from that now let's use some real examples of times when statistics are literally used very in a very wrong way but just to give you a wrong image even though they might be true One common statistic usually show that most of the Indian, majority of the population, live in poverty. And true, that's true. But one fact that is usually left out of this topic is how in that country where most people are in poverty, that same country have been taking so many people also out of poverty. Their rise from the poverty line to getting a lot of people out of poverty is way faster than even other countries which they don't have a lot of people under poverty. So should we say majority of the Indian population is kept under poverty only? I think the better way to say it should be there are a lot of people under poverty in India, but they're leaving poverty faster again. Which that now says the truth, but half of it doesn't really say the truth. You see, from what we have seen, statistics do work so hard into the image of the country. So next time when you hear statistics about being a country being so polluted, ask yourself also how much the population of India is. India having a population of let's say 10 different countries that they are taking the pollution of 10 countries combined only in, on, on the name of one country. And I don't think that statistic is fair, even though India still need much better methods of tackling the issue of pollution. But I think it's up to us who consume the media, who consume information from out there, to be so smart into how we perceive information and how we try to understand the meaning hidden behind every information. It might be constructing, it might be actually trying to educate us, but also it's maybe to tarnish the image of somebody. Thanks so much for being here. Catch you next time.